All right, we, uh, we're back again, another video. So this is immediately after I caused this damage right here. Uh, when that, uh, when that platform, when I had it like the vertical and it fell, um, I should have mentioned the, the strength of the ceiling. Obviously I was using a ceiling joist to lift a thousand pounds, but I don't see any, any, uh, damage or anything. I'm not sure what that like little noise was that spooked me. But anyway, I got the stainless steel top on box here. I kind of just cut it down the middle and stepped on the side as the sides. Um, what you're going to want to do in order to do this. So, I mean, I haven't seen any instructions yet or read anything, but it looks like we have some wing nuts, wing nuts here. Uh -huh. This plastic. Looks like some kind of particle particle board is what makes up the back half. And then I can see the stainless steel edge. So I forgot how much, how heavy this thing is, but we got some, um, some wing nuts right here. And then you got four holes that are on top. You got two on this side and then two is, then you got two down here. Uh, the front one, you can actually access the front one by just by pulling out the drawer partially. Um, but obviously the back one, you won't be able to access for obvious reasons. Um, you will have to like press down. You have, if you've never done these before, you have these uh, little tabs on the side that you'll have to either press down or push up um, on. Usually the little groove, so you have this little groove at the end of it, you push down on this one. Um, and then the next one is gonna be opposite, you push up. And for these ones with a double slides, you'll have to do both of them. For the big draw, you can do it you can um, you can get away with one person. I actually did it by myself just now, um, prior to this video. So I basically did one side and kind of like shimmed it, uh, shimmed it out a little bit, and then I transferred to the next side and did that side. Um, this it might fall back in place, but after a little bit of work, you'll get it out. Um, my limitation was that I was trying to remove that drawer and I didn't have enough space to like really pull it all the way out and step backwards. So I kind of had to sit on this one. And then a the small one was relatively easy. We'll see how easy they are to put back in. But I'm gonna install the stainless steel top on here. Uh, the goal tonight is to get the, the work center on top. I'm not sure if I'll end up bolting it down. I know this thing, you're gonna have to like drill a hole in or whatever. And I think they have a template. I just don't know where the template is at right now. Um, it should be, well, um, you left your slippers right there. Go on inside, go on inside. So uh, the the work center is uh, open and you could see him like he was trying to walk from one to the next, which kind of unsafe, especially with the plastic. Well, he wasn't walking from one to the next, but he was sitting on it. And then he went to go pick up his flip flops and then he kind of fell inside the work center. So, and kids. So um, yeah, you got some wing nuts. These should be pretty easy to go on there. Um, these, they have a, a threaded insert already. You can see it on all four corners. So uh, I don't know how much this thing weighs. Uh, maybe I can find out real quick. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I forgot how much this thing weighs. Uh, let's see. There's some um, some weight in kilograms. Um, but anyway, that's the stainless steel top as it comes. So I'm gonna get this thing on the tripod and then I'm gonna put this thing in place. I've already removed the the liner because it's definitely not gonna fit with the liner. Um, it might, you just have to punch a hole through the liner um, to get to the, for it to thread it in. I'm not sure, probably not. But also the liner is right here, but as you saw, it kind of sweats. So I'm not sure if you'd want that. 
Anyway, let's put this on the tripod. I'm gonna head over there and do this. Sorry about this shaky stuff, but definitely learning a lot about what not to do. But unfortunately, that means I've already done it. So, I mean, I won't get any closer than this, but all right. dust or anything up here. I'll just use my jacket here to give this a once over. Make sure there's like no moisture on there. I know I said I wasn't gonna do this but the more I the more I think about it especially with the boxes undone and it's best for me to assemble it and I did confirm it only has one set of swivel casters, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna call and order effectively a replacement a set of replacement casters. They're like $124 a piece, I believe, or maybe hopefully it's a pair. Yeah, why would they sell one? Hopefully it comes as a pair, you know, comes as a set. But uh, I'm not gonna remove it from the cabinets. Uh, I kind of want to have the silver casters on there because I know eventually I'll end up moving and that thing has, I mean, the side locker, it has the fixed casters, the, the temporary casters. I'm, so I'm talking about that. So it has the temporary casters right here. Um, and then these are the swivel ones. So I won't take those off. Um, I'll just get a set, a new set, and then I'll just have some extra casters laying around for projects or whatever. Cause I mean, they're pretty heavy duty. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so anyway, I tend to go off topic a lot, ramble. But yeah, when I when I finally lowered the box, kind of vacuumed up everything, um, all the dust and stuff, I realized that uh, when I was trying to move the box within that small space, I was having to do a, I don't know, a 21 point turn to get it to as close to, to the wall as possible to make myself some room right there. So yeah, I'll definitely get um, an extra set of swivel casters because man, that thing will change the game. So anyway, um, we're gonna do this with a stainless steel top. Should be a pretty easy install, like I said. Hopefully it's not too heavy. Determination. So this thing weighs a hundred, it says it right there, a hundred plus pounds. So I don't remember it being too heavy for the, the specs. I just gotta find a place to grab. Uh, 
So it has this like protector on it. Um, as you can see, it's not too bad, it's not too heavy. So if you've watched a portion of my video, you've seen it, it's pretty much uh, determination. Obviously I had my wife that helped me um, to haul it in here. My son kind of helped me do some other stuff. And he's only, he's about to be six here in a few months. instructions here it says to remove the mat from the countertop it has this little piece of instructions right here um, remove the mat from the countertop open or remove, remove the cabinet top drawer so I've done that and then yeah, attach it just has a little lip on it I'm not sure which side it goes to you know what it's gonna be obvious it goes to the front um, I'll, uh, I'll bring you in and show you what I'm talking about. I'll, uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about real quick. I know this, this was kind of partially off centered. So here's what I'm talking about. You have this, um, this little lip right here. So I'm pretty sure it just goes over the front and then obviously this stays, this stays flush to the back and that makes sense, right? This little small thing, it's just pretty much gonna fall in place. So that's gonna be a little bit of challenge to allow this little lip on the box to fall in place. And then the, the larger lip is gonna be covered on the front side here. So it's gonna cover this right here, if that makes sense. But as you can see, it's just, it's just I mean, this is a, a 500 piece, 500 a piece of uh, particle board uh, with a piece of stainless steel top on there. So I think I'm gonna move that larger top drawer over there just to make some room, refocus this bad boy. I just wanna get everything out of my way that I can stumble over. This thing is not light. This thing is not light. I mean, I've been, you've seen me like throwing these things around, um, but there, that thing is not light by itself. Um, here's another piece of nugget. So here's a, that latching mechanism on the back. I'm not sure if I'm capturing this on camera, but. from getting smashed, but uh, yeah. So, all right. Let's see, how am I gonna do this? Holy cow. All right, we're doing it. So, 
I would agree as some of this stuff that I'm doing, it's definitely not a one person, one person operation. Certainly, all right. So, this is where it's going to get tricky. It's, it's almost on there. Um, I'm trying not to like smash anything, so I'll just slide it just like that. Oh, that side is not in. So what I was saying, a lot of this is a is a two-person operation. It definitely makes it easier with two persons. But um, so you can see it, it's on there. So this is what I was saying. It has that overhang on the board on this uh, top piece, and it's meant to go to the front side. Um, so now all I have to do is, well bolt this thing down using those wing nuts, which is just gonna be hand tight. So we'll, uh, we'll do that. Just take my gloves off for some better dexterity. Uh, I don't know, knock on wood that I can uh, completely assemble this thing by myself, this garage. So that's one thing I was I was grateful for during during my move that I did not I did not like you just have to like slide this thing back and forth to like basically ensure that it's flush to the back and then the holes will line up and you just gotta use a wing nut to just hand tighten it. It's not gonna go anywhere. Yeah, you don't need any special tools or anything. It's just, um, just your digits. So. Let's see if we can locate this one. So, I mean, if you got shorter arms, this one is in the very back. There we go. Obviously, you'll know if you're like cross-threading or anything because this you're doing this by hand. So but yeah, that's basically installing the stainless steel top. Pretty straightforward operation. So technically, we have a, a functional box here. Get these last two in installed. There's this guy. In. Oh, so this one is like buried right behind the, the power receptacles. And again, you have to you have to ensure this thing is the, the stainless steel top is definitely pushed all the way back. This is not in the center up on the on the hole. A threaded hole, you kind of just kind of find it because it's kind of you can't see it with the, the plug install or the come on, it's like shooting blind. Yeah, this one is slightly cross threaded. Um, here's a suggestion if you get to somewhere that is frustrated or something, just move on. Kind of applies to everything in life. Go move on to something else, leave it, come back tomorrow. Um, I can't tell you how many things I've, I've done in my life where I'm working on something and I don't know how to do it. I'm getting frustrated. Um, and, you know, I just leave it. 
trying to find this one back here. Hopefully this is it. Yeah, I just kind of leave it. Kind of, as you're like, Lord, I mean, watch out for these things as you're like stooping down and doing all this extra stuff. You don't want to gouge up your face. So this might be a case where I leave this thing for another day because slightly annoying. I apologize for the. You know what? Yeah, I don't think it's cross threaded. It just might be a little bit, a little bit uh, difficult actually. And since it's a wing nut, you're kind of feeling the. Yeah, if this was cross threaded, I could not do it by hand. It's just a little bit more, more difficult to thread in. So yeah, what I'm saying, uh, if you come across difficulties in life, it doesn't matter what you're doing, man. Uh, yeah, walk away from it and come back, re-attack re -attack another day. I mean, it might not be tomorrow, but um, I guarantee you, you'll stand a better chance of success when you're not in flustered and you know swearing and all this stuff. It doesn't look like I was, it doesn't feel like I was cross threading. If I was cross threading, it would be a lot more difficult to insert this thing. It's just, it's not as smooth as you want it to be to head tighten something. There we go. Definitely wear gloves for this one, because I mean, these wing nuts, they're not sharp. There we go, starting to go easy. They're not sharp, but they're not the smoothest on the fingers. All right. I definitely got him. Got him, coach. Yeah. So, box is off the platform. Um, stainless steel top is on there. And the instructions are right here on the mount, the mounted instructions. Um, let's see if I can take you in for a quick peek. Here we go. So, the next event on this calendar really is just to peel this, uh, Peel this, uh, what do you call it? Protective, protective layer off. So just be sure to get it from the underside also. Come back 
to this video. I was hoping that it would come out way easier. So the reason I'm trying to peel it back from up here, the larger piece, is because then I can just peel off and then the underside will just come off with the edge. But it's giving me a little run for my money here. You guys that are more used to toolboxes might have a better idea as far as how this thing comes off. But something here. Still top. So this uh, plastic or whatever it is, film is really strong, but because I don't want it to rip, I'm just gonna keep walling it up on myself. And as soon as I said I don't want it to rip, it ripped. But I want to remove it in a, a large enough chunk. This is a lot of work surface. Come on. There she is with uh, fingerprints already on there. So I don't see any dents or anything. You know, everything on stainless steel tops, you can see dents and stuff. I'll obviously have to get uh, a pick or something to remove the little insert there. But so far, so good. Uh, 
yeah, I'll just reinsert the, the drawers right now. Well, I'll at least do the smaller one. Um, I might do the bigger one also on camera just because we're already there. Just to see if I run into any hiccups that someone might learn from. Uh, obviously there's a piece of plastic right here. Icon revealed. Here's our, our smaller drawer right here. I think I should just be able to line these up. See, these are the little tabs I was talking about right here. Just get the big one on there. So I don't want it to be in too much. And then uh, these, they do, they definitely have ball bearings. Uh, yeah, you can see the ball bearings on the on the slides. So I'm pretty sure you've seen these, but the keys, they tend to bend. I don't know why. So, just put this one up here. And yeah, we'll get, we'll get this guy inserted. Um, so the, the little latch on the back that I showed you, the little on the, box, the, the, the back side of the box, is for this uh, key mechanism. This might be a little bit more difficult than the removal. But we're going to aim for success here, like everything else I've done. trying to get it all lined up it's like sliding inwards so I'm not gonna waste your time with that you saw how the smaller one was done so um, I'm gonna get that and I'll report if I was successful and with uh, how many attempts but let's try one more one more time for good faith, good measures. We'll try to have these aligned as much as we can. Uh, I don't know. Actually, we'll try to insert them all the way to the stops. That way we know that they're not gonna like move on us. And then we'll try to do it from there. 
Definitely a two man operation. So I say that now, and I'm still going to try before I ask for help, but we'll end this video right here. So that was the stainless steel top install. I know 36 minutes is not a long, is a long time to just talk about a, a stainless steel top install with wing nuts, but it is what it is. You saw all the, the hiccups. Anyway, um, I don't know if I'm gonna get the work center installed. I might try to at least pre-position that thing. Yeah, all right, there we go. That thing in place so I can hoist it up. And I mean, that should be pretty easy. Uh, and maybe I can do it. But before I do that, I gotta find the template for that, which I'm pretty sure the template is gonna come inside of this so I gotta find a template to, to drill the holes on there. Um, and I'll do that. I probably will end up doing that. That drawer is bugging me though, but it is what it is. But yeah, so I'll find a template to drill in the stainless steel top in order to secure this guy. Um, and this thing is actually bolted to the pallet. I saw some bolts in there, so I'll end, undo those. And then we'll pick this video up at some point when I figure out life. Anyway, as me always say, like on a hit thing.